So welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, I'm now answering question number 10 from the May, June 2017 Cambridge 9709 International A-Level Pure Mathematics um, P1. This is paper one from the Cambridge A-Level papers. And this question here is about um, functions. Now, part A is about solving trig equations. So I'm going to do this 10 part one in a separate video. And from two onwards, I will do in a separate video, which will be all about uh, functions involving trig, you know, functions here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to just learn about solving this equation. So we got the function f is defined by f of x equals 3 times tan over half x minus 2 for x values between negative a half pi and a half pi. We've got to solve the equation f of x plus 4 equals 0, giving your answer. Now there's a little thing to be um, taking note of. It says answer, which implies there's only going to be one answer, whereas normally in trig questions you get you know, um, multiple answers within a range. Correct to one decimal place. So that's something to keep in mind. So first of all, what they told us to do is to take the function f of x, which is 3 tan, okay, let me just sort that pin out, which is 3 tan over half of x. Three tan over half of x. Um, minus 2. So that's function f of x. We're going to take the function f of x, which is this, and we've got to subtract 2 from it. We've got to sorry, add 4 to it f of x plus 4, and then equate it to 0. And we have to solve this equation now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add, I'm going to simplify this first. So this is 3 times the tan of a half of x, minus 2 plus 4 is plus 2, equals 0. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So 3 times a half of x equals negative 2. And now I'm going to isolate this tan of a half of x, so divide both sides by 3. So I've got tan of a half of x is equal to negative 2 over 3. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to um, get this ready now to solve. Now, I want to solve the equation tan of x equals, a half of x equals negative 2 over 3. And I have the range between minus a half pi and a half pi. So my range is between minus a half pi and a half pi. Okay, now what it says in this section here must be matched by what's over there. If they're not the same, you must change okay, the range that you have, the interval that you have to find the um, answers in. That interval must be changed to match what it says here, otherwise you will get either too many answers, Okay, the answers in the end will not be in our range, or you'll get too few answers. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, multiply this half, this x by a half, or divide it by two if you want. So this becomes a half x. But I must do the same to the to the limits here, or the interval. So if I multiply this by a half, I mul multiply this by a half, so that becomes a minus a quarter pi up to a quarter pi. So my the interval from which I, I'm going to collect the answers is now going to change to minus quarter pi and up to a quarter pi. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I want to find the angle, the angle half x, such that the inverse of the tan of the angle is going to give me, the inverse of minus two, thir two thirds is going to give me the angle. So the inverse tan of minus two thirds will give me this angle. You can think of it like we're going to take, we're going to get rid of this tan by taking the inverse tan of this side of the equation, which will leave us with a half x. Therefore, we have to take the inverse tan of the other side as well. So you have inverse tan of negative two thirds. So now we can find the angle or angles that we need. So we're going to take the calculator. We're going to make sure that we are in radian mode, which we were. If it wasn't, I'd press shift menu, angle unit, and two for radians. And then I'm going to put inverse tan of negative two-thirds. Now that gives me an answer, negative 0 0.588. Okay, now we want to give our answer to one decimal place, but I'm going to leave it to three decimal places until the last step. That's negative 0 0.588. Okay, so there's the, um, the first solution. Now, are there other solutions within our, within our range? 
Well, that's what we're going to check now. Because you know with the tan curve, it repeats every pi. So I'm keeping this as half a pi right now. So th th then there should be another angle, pi away from this and pi less than this and so on. Um, but I can't go any further than a quarter pi or less than negative a quarter pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what a quarter pi is. So I'll put pi over 4 as a decimal. That's 0 0.785. So I can't go below my negative 0 0.785, nor can I go above positive 0 0.785. This is within our range, but if I add pi to this, of course, pi is 3.14. It's going to be way over, you know, 0 0.785. And if I take away pi from this, of course, it's going to be out of the range. So th that's the reason why we only have this one solution here, okay? But this is for a half x. I want to find what x is. So then I'm going to say x equals 2 times negative 0 0.588. Uh, so I take my answer that I got before, which is this, and I multiply it by 2. And I get negative 1.176. So 1.176. Let me fix that. Okay, which then rounds to one decimal place as negative 1.2. So there's my final answer. This is in radians, okay? Neg negative 1.2 radians all right so there's the answer for part one and as i said i'm going to leave this question um so i can save it under solving trig equations all right so that will be a separate um kind of um, playlist and the rest of the question i'm going to put under functions okay which is the question is involving inverse functions and and, and such like so i'm going to put the next part under the topic of functions in the playlist for functions. Um, so I'm going to save that in a separate video. So if you would like to see other videos from that give uh, questions from this particular year, including the next one, you can go to this uh, link at the end of the video. Click on that link. It will take you to the questions I answered from this particular paper. If you want to find questions involving solving trig equations from P1 of uh, Cambridge, you can go to this playlist over here. Um, if you would like to um, subscribe to my channel, you can click on this link and the video that will uh, be linked on this link over here will take you to a video which shows how to use my channel in an efficient manner. And a lot of the stuff that I have in the edit, under the Edexcel P1 and P2 sections relate very much to the Cambridge P1 section. So you could benefit from watching a lot of the topics from, from those videos as well if you're doing Cambridge. So thank you for watching and see you soon.